Sling versus friendly TV. Which is better? Cord cutters looking for a cost-effective cable replacement may be satisfied with either one of these live TV streaming services, depending on what they watch most. In this friendly versus sling review video, we compare price, channel lineups, user experience, supported devices, simultaneous streams, and cloud DVR to help you decide which of these live TV streaming services is best for you. Let's start with price and plans. At time of filming, both Sling TV and Friendly offer three plans. Sling offers Sling Orange, Sling Blue, and Sling Orange Plus Blue. Either Orange or Blue costs $35 a month, while Sling Orange Plus Blue gives you every channel in both plans for $50 a month. Friendly also offers three plans, Basic for $7 a month, Classic for 9 and Premium for 11 The channel packages in all three Friendly TV plans are the same. What varies are the features. Basic lets you stream on one screen in standard definition and does not include a cloud DVR. Classic lets you stream on two screens in HD and includes an unlimited DVR. You can keep recordings for three months there. Premium lets you stream on four screens in HD, includes an unlimited DVR, and lets you keep recordings for nine months. It's also worth noting that while we're talking about price, Cost is really the only factor that these two services have in common, as the content they have is pretty different. However, we're comparing them as two options for people who want a cheap streaming service with live TV. Friendly lets you try its service free for seven days. Sling's promotions vary. Sometimes they offer a free trial, which usually lasts three days. Sometimes they offer a free device or another item to entice new subscribers to try their service. When you use a free trial, remember to mark the exact time it expires and cancel before then to avoid being charged. If you forget, your credit card will be charged for a month of service. Now, many of these services keep track down to the second of when you signed up, so you'll want to note the time you sign up as well. On price, we give the nod to Friendly as it's quite a bit cheaper, as long as you can live without sports or you can pair Friendly with an antenna and be satisfied with what you can get on your local networks. Let's move on to our next item, the Sling versus Friendly TV channel comparison. First, it's worth noting that neither service really carries local networks. Friendly doesn't have any local channels at all. Sling offers NBC and Fox in some markets. Not carrying locals is one way these streaming services keep their prices so low. This doesn't mean you shouldn't sign up for one of them though. An over-the-air antenna is the best way to get your locals. After one upfront cost of about $25 or $50 to buy an antenna, you'll have your locals free for life. However, if you're looking for a way to watch sports without cable beyond what's on your local stations, you're going to want to consider Sling. Sling carries ESPN, ESPN2, and ESPN3, as well as Fox Sports 1. The catch is that it organizes them into different packages. The best way to tell which package is best for you is to go to sling.com backslash channels. Enter the channels you're interested in the box and press enter. You'll see either Sling Orange or Blue or Orange Plus Blue and maybe some extra channel packages that carry an additional fee appear below. For instance, let's say I want ESPN. I enter that and I see that I should get Sling Orange. But let's say I also want Fox Sports 1. That's in the blue lineup. So the tile below will change to Sling Orange Plus Blue. Now if I want ESPN News or Fox Sports 2, I'll see that I need to purchase the sports extra add-on to get it. But I also like HGTV, so I'll put that in. The tile stays at Orange Plus Blue, but when I take away Fox Sports 1, I see I can get all the other channels I want in Orange. That tells me Orange is the best plan for me. You can keep adding and removing your must-have channels until you get your ideal mix and you'll know which package and potentially add-ons you need to get them. Overall, Sling Blue has more channels than Orange. Blue tends to be best for news, entertainment, and lifestyle channels, while Orange is best for sports because it has ESPN. If you want to see more about Sling, watch our review video on the service now. Now, Friendly is a different story, and it's a little easier since its channel lineup is the same across its plans. At time of filming, it has more than 40 channels of live TV, including popular networks like A&E, History Channel, all the Hallmark stations, Lifetime, QVC, and the Weather Channel. It really doesn't have any sports, other than the Outdoor Channel, and it's definitely geared towards families looking for feel-good TV. As we shared in our recent review of MeTV, it's also one of the few live TV streaming services to carry that channel everywhere. 
If Friendly has a network you like, you really can't beat its price. We'd recommend going with the Classic plan for $9 a month so we can take advantage of the unlimited cloud DVR. To learn more about Just Friendly, watch our review on that service. Comparing the two on channel selection, we give the win to Sling for its inclusion of popular networks and the ability to effectively watch sports without cable. Now let's take a look at what it's like to watch TV on each platform, starting with Sling. When you launch Sling, the home screen defaults to a few large tiles up top of things Sling thinks you'll want to watch, followed by rows of content. There's a streaming hub row that you can scroll through to add more channels to your Sling lineup, for a fee of course. Scrolling down, you can also see your favorite channels and browse for shows by network. Then there's more rows of content. It's Sling's way to try to make it faster and easier for you to find something to watch. Over on the left, there's a gear icon at the top left that you can use to access your account settings. Then there's a magnifying glass you can use to search for anything. Below that is the home screen icon followed by the guide, DVR, and on-demand titles. Clicking on the guide reveals a grid-like guide similar to what you would see in cable or satellite plans. Along the top are categories you can use to filter the channel guide. You can do all, A to Z, favorites, recents, sports, news, movies, free, and kids. Once you favorite channels, they will appear in your favorites list and you can choose to filter the guide just by them. It's easy to favorite a channel just by clicking the heart icon next to any network. Scrolling right reveals what's coming up next and in the future. Scrolling down takes you through the channel list. Clicking on anything launches it, and you can record anything from the guide as well. The DVR allows you to view all things you've recorded and change recording options for any title you've scheduled to record. Along the top, you can view recordings, scheduled items, DVR storage, and see what titles you've moved to the trash. Sling makes it easy to see how much storage you have left. It's worth noting that you only get 50 hours included with your subscription, which can fill up fast if you record a lot of movies or sports. If you want more storage, you can get 200 hours for an extra $5 a month. Now let's take a look at what it's like to use Friendly. When you launch Friendly on either a TV or computer, it drops you into the channel guide. Along the top, you'll see four options, guide, movies, TV, my recordings, and then over to the left, a search icon you can use to search for anything in a gear icon where you can access your account settings. Scrolling right allows you to see what's coming up later that day or in future days and scroll down to see more channels. You can also scroll right across the top to move by date into the future more quickly. Clicking on anything in the guide that's airing in the future brings up more information about it, including the option to record the episode or series. Clicking on anything that's live now brings up the option to watch live, start over, or record. The content will display in screen with the option to enlarge it to full screen, or if you want, continue to browse channels over on the right. You can also choose to view picture in picture, which is nice. Now from the view screen, you can change your screen resolution and turn on closed captions. Clicking movies along the top reveals rows of titles organized by category. Some are live and others are on demand. There are categories like Love is in the Air and Keeping Up with the Joneses. You can also view movies by network. To the right of movies along the top is TV, where you can view shows that are live now and then similarly organized by category and network. To the right of that are your recordings and to the right of that, the search function. Now comparing the two interfaces, you can see that Sling is more robust, as it should be, because it costs significantly more. Friendly is trimmed down, but still includes the basic functions you'd want in a satisfying streaming experience. While both offer a good experience, we think Sling does a better job of organizing content and offers more options. While we give it the win over Friendly, we think it's not bad for the price. Now let's wrap up with a comparison of three features, starting with supported devices. It's worth noting that both of these services require reliable high-speed internet to use effectively. Without that, you're going to experience annoying buffering. Sling TV has a longer list of supported devices than Friendly. In fact, you'd be hard-pressed to find something that doesn't support Sling. A long list of smart devices including Fire TV, Roku, and Apple TV, mobile devices, set-top boxes, smart TVs, web browsers, and even gaming systems are supported. Friendly's list is less extensive but still supported by all the major options. 
Roku, Fire devices, Apple TV, Chromecast, web browsers, as well as iOS and Android systems will all let you watch friendly TV. Still, with the longer list, we give the win in this category to Sling TV. Our last two features, simultaneous screens and DVR, are things we've already touched on. To recap, with Friendly, the number of screens you can watch on at once varies based on the plan you choose. The cheapest plan lets you stream on one, the middle plan on two, and the highest plan on four. With Sling, the number of screens also depends on the plan you choose. Channels included in only Sling Orange can only be streamed on one screen at a time. This means you can only watch ESPN on one screen at a time. Channels included in only Sling Blue can be streamed on three screens at once. If you sign up for Sling Orange plus Blue, you'll have a total of four screens to stream on at once, with one of them for Orange only channels and up to three for Blue only channels. For offering the ability to stream on more screens for less, and for being less confusing, we give the nod here to Friendly. Our last item, DVR, is pretty easy. Friendly offers unlimited cloud DVR in its middle and premium packages for a pretty reasonable cost, too. The only difference is in the length of time you can keep your recordings. The classic plan allows you to keep recordings for three months, while premium allows you to keep recordings for nine. There is no DVR in the basic plan. Sling's DVR, unfortunately, really isn't that great. All plans include a 50-hour cloud DVR. You can protect favorite recordings so that they are never deleted. Anything unprotected will delete once your storage capacity is reached, starting with the oldest recordings first. If you want more storage, you must pay an extra $5 a month to get 200 hours of storage. For including unlimited DVR in everything but its cheapest package, we give the win here to Friendly. Having considered every comparison factor between Sling versus Friendly, we give the overall win to Sling TV. While it costs more, other than not having local channels, it really is more of a true cable replacement. You'll get many popular networks, including ones people prize most, like ESPN. Yeah, Friendly's content really is niche. It's limited to family-friendly, feel-good TV. There aren't any traditional sports to speak of, news, or popular cable networks outside of a and &E, Hallmark, Lifetime, and History Channel. Still, if Friendly has the content you like to watch, it's a great deal with a fairly decent user experience. If you're looking for more of a true cable alternative, you're going to be happier with Sling. We'd like to see Sling make a few changes, notably upping the included DVR to 200 hours without making you pay for it, and upping the screen limits to three across the board. Yeah, hopefully this video shows you just how much you can save and still get without cable. You really don't have to give up your favorite shows and sports. You have more options than ever. Well, that does it for this video. We chose Sling, but which service do you think is better? Which one offers the best mix of content at the best price? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get all our latest news and reviews when they drop. And if you know someone who would benefit from this video, share it with them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.